Hey, my name is Jackie and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jackie of All Trades. Hi everyone, good evening and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, we'll be talking about how to start working from home or pwede din naman freelancing. Now let me start first by defining what work from home is as well as freelancing. Actually, pwede mo naman siyang pagsabayin, depende po sa kung ano yung gusto ninyo talagang gawin. So, una muna, let's talk about work from home. Well, obviously, by the word itself or the terms itself, work from home means you have to work from home. And ngayong quarantine period natin, di ba, most of us are actually working from home. So, pero kagaya ko ngayon, I also have a corporate job and I'm working from home. Um, may mga ibang work from home na talagang Work from home talaga siya na like for example, some of your clients are actually outside of the Philippines. Um, sometimes, some are local clients actually. So, pwede din yun. Basta basically, hindi ka nagre-report sa opisina. Now, it can go as far as work from anywhere. Na naranasan ko po yan na sa isang naging full-time work from home ko. Since laptop yung gamit ko naman, basta may internet connection ako, pwede ako magtrabaho anywhere, kahit nasa labas ako. So, depende po yan sa klase ng trabaho na makukuha nyo. Now, what is freelancing naman? Ang freelancing normally is not a fixed um, job, so to speak. Usually, fixed project siya. Sometimes, um, hindi, ka, hindi ka talaga contractually ob obligated na magtrabaho sa kanila. So, minsan, parang kumbaga kung kailan lang kailangan, saka ka lang uh, tatawagin or on-call ka. Sometimes, pwede din naman siya na may certain project lang at pag natapos na yung project, babayaran ka and then that's it. Okay? Now, ako, I've tried both. Um, pero, nung simula, gusto ko talaga lang work from home. Hindi ko pa masyado naisip yung free freelancing na yan. Pero, after some time, like ngayon, nung quarantine period, na-realize ko that um, although I can still work from home, um, since meron pa akong corporate job na work from home din, I decided na mas gusto ko yung idagdag dun sa mga ginagawa ko is freelancing. So, yon, Maraming trabaho na available. Now, let's talk about how to start this time. So, I hope medyo mas naging nalinawan kayo what's the difference between the usual work from home and freelancing. Although, pwedeng pareho din siya. Pwede kasing freelancer ka na work from home ka din. So, alam mo yun, hindi naman talaga siya totally different na different, okay? Now, ito yung mga naisip ko na tips na based on experience, um, gusto kong i-share sa inyo how you will start working from home. Kasi may mga nagtanong na sa akin ng mga dati kong mga katrabaho, mga friends din na since alam nila before na nag-work ako from home and somehow I was posting several things about working from home. They were asking me how to start, um, yung mga tips na pwede ko ibigay. So let's start with this one. And as, as you all know, this vlog was created first and foremost to be a testimony of God's faithfulness. So, ang unang-una kong sasabihin, this is really based on experience. Number one is God's will. Okay? God's will. Kasi natutunan ko po na lahat naman tayo, may kanya-kanya, kung baka may kanya-kanyang plano si Lord, ba? So, nung una ako nagsimulang mag-work from home, two years ago, akala ko yun na talaga yung pupuntahan ko. Pero, ang weird kasi nung kung kailan ako nakakuha ng full-time na work from home, biglang may nag-alok sa akin ng corporate job. At yung linya ng trabaho na papasukin ko is yung gusto ko talaga. And I prayed for it for a time being. I actually tried working two full-time jobs, isang work from home or work from anywhere, at isang corporate job. Pero, narealize ko nung time na yun, uh, di bali nang isa lang yung trabaho ko kaysa naman magkasakit po ako. So, I had to actually give up the work from home or work from anywhere na opportunity. Kahit gustong gusto ko siyang ikip, talaga pong bumigay din po yung health ko nung time na yun. Ano pa naman ako, medyo low blood. So, or problema ko yung iron supplement ko, uh, iron level ko. So, um, mas gusto ko nang piliin yung health ko. I also stopped accepting muna nung time na yun mga freelancing gigs. Mga dati kong naging kliyente na gusto pa sanang may ipatrabaho kasi sabi ko medyo lagi akong kulang sa pahinga nung time na yun. Siguro nga dahil corporate job, alam naman natin, minsan isang ayaw natin is yung traffic, ba So, yon God's will. Naniniwala ako na 
Kung talagang meant na magtrabaho ka or you work from home or become a freelancer, God will find a way for you. And in fact, let me share this Bible verse to you. Um, I'm sharing Psalm 37, uh, 4 to 5. It says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. Sa ibang versions, sabi pa dun parang He will act in your behalf. So, siya yung gagawa ng paraan. Kasi ako, honestly po, since pumilig ako ng corporate job ko a little late last year, akala ko yun na yun. Parang there's no way I'm going back to working from home. Even if I wanted to. But who would have known that the quarantine would actually lead me back to working from home and freelancing? Kasi, um... Nung start ng quarantine, two days lang ako nagre-report sa work. So, syempre dahil reduced yung pay ko, I felt like I needed to find another job. Or maybe, you know, if, if God was opening another door for me, then explore ko lang siya. And true enough, kumbaga nakakuha ako ng... Yung isa, medyo mag, nagsisimula na ako. Yung isa, pending pa naman siya kasi hindi pa naman talaga siya... Uh, on 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 the go kung baga no pero at least medyo nas- may mga nasimulan na ako and they are all freelancing um hindi siya hindi siya fixed na full-time jobs hindi rin siya early job okay so and i keep it that way kahit pwede naman ako mag-work from home like kunyari pwede naman ako mag-teach ng English online sabi ko lalo na nagtuloy naman ako sa bahay dahil sa corporate job ko din I work from home na at full-time na po ako ngayon starting July 1 um, full time na na four, five days na yung trabaho. Kaya sabi ko na ko hindi ko ata kakayan. Ayoko na nadala na po ako. Ayoko na magkasakit ulit. Okay? Next tip I can give you is identify what is your big why. Why do you want to work from home? Kasi minsan yung iba, kaya gusto nilang mag-work from home na iingit sa ibang tao, akala nila. Kasi may marami kasing mga nagpo-post ng work from home na dahil nag-work from home sila, mas malaki na yung kita nila. May, which is true, meron naman talaga pong gano'n, ano. Meron din yung iba, kasi nga, lalo na yung mga nanay, no. Once they give birth sa kanila mga anak, uh, minsan nagsasak- nasasacrifice din kasi yung mga anak kapag inuna mo yung trabaho na usual, yung, which is corporate job, no. So, mas madali sa kanila if they can work from home kasi they can, they can take care of their kids kahit babies pa. Um, and then, basically, in-schedule lang nila yung kanilang mga gawain sa work or yung time kung, sa, kung kailan sila magtatrabaho. Okay? So, I think it's... I, I, I definitely felt like nung time na, nung nilagay ko to, why is it important to know what your big why is? Kasi minsan, hindi po kasi madali ang mag-work from home at saka hindi rin po madaling mag-freelancing. Minsan, it'll take time before you get the opportunity at pag nakakuha ka na naman ng opportunity, minsan, uh, maraming ups and downs, just like a regular job. Ngayon, kung hindi deep enough yung reason mo for doing what you're doing or why you want to work from home, the tendency is for you to give up easily. So, sana yung big why mo, kung talagang is big talaga siya. It's a, a big enough reason for you to actually endure the trials and the ups and downs of working from home or freelancing. Okay, para at least mas may hook sa'yo, bakit kailangan mong magtrabaho sa bahay? Or kung bakit kailangan mo pa ng extra na, kasi pwede rin namang meron ka pang corporate job like me now. No? May corporate job ako, pero I also accept freelancing. I can still, sabi ko nga pwede naman mag-work from home, pero ayoko na lang muna ngayon. Next tip, number three. Number three is sign up to different freelancing sites. There are actually a lot of freelancing sites na available out there. Personally, I've been using Upwork.com. Hindi ko po, nag-try din ako mag-create sa iba-ibang mga sites like online jobs, PH. Um, you also have uh, freelancer, people per hour, free up, and dami po ng mga sites. Even Job Street would post some uh, available work from home jobs na ngayon. Um, now, it's important that you sign up kasi syempre, paano ka mag apply ng trabaho, di ba? Baka naman mamaya na pag iwanan na tayo ng panahon at ang alam na lang natin is yung usual na siguro pinaka-advance na siguro na alam natin yung iba. Actually, ako noon, noong time na yun, parang medyo ganun, ano? Job street na lang yung alam natin when in fact, there are so many job opportunities na nakapost sa iba-ibang freelancing sites. Even Facebook now posts freelancing uh, jobs as well. So, take note of those and try to sign up kasi 
para at least magkaroon ka rin ng idea ano ba yung mga trabaho na available. Okay? Next tip I can give you, number four. Number four would be um, join or follow and or follow different Facebook groups on work from home and freelancing. Uh, let me, ako ang dami ko nung ano eh, kasi actually once you join one, marami namang magparang auto-suggest, would you like to join this group, ganyan, 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 no? Now, sabi ko sa sarili ko noon, since seryoso ako noon na mag-work from home, sige lang, join lang ako, sige lang, kumbaga parang follow lang ako ng different groups. Um, and in fact, in some of those groups, I was able to get some some gigs na in short time lang ba. Okay, pero at least, you know, ang sa akin kasi, yung ibang opportunities na yon nagbigay din sa akin ng opportunity to learn something. So, ano-ano yung mga sites or mga groups na sinalihan ko? This, these are just a few of them, okay? Um, of course, yung recently ko, where I am currently their customer service trainer, that's one of my new freelancing opportunities, kung baga ngayon. Um, that's FH Moms or Filipina Home Based Moms. Sorry, may listahan kasi ako dito. Number two, um, may mga ano din, for, for the... For the medyo natatakot kasi may edad na, you have freelancing for the young ones, yung medyo mga artistic, artistic, okay, yung Canva for freelancers, Upwork Philippines, Virtual Assistant Network, meron pa ito, WAH, ano tata, work at home, uh, WAH non-voice job groups, lalo na yung kasi ako noon, kaya ako nyo yung tinry, syempre, I came from the call center before, but I didn't want any voice account anymore if ever I get into an, a, a certain job. So, sabi ko, sige, try ko lang siya. You also have Philippine home-based virtual assistants. Um, kasi yun yung usong trabaho nung umpisa, eh, taga mostly virtual assistants. Home-based jobs, pin, Pinas. And then you also have FLIP, uh, which, is, which basically stands for Freelancers in the Philippines. So, itong mga Facebook groups na to, bukod sa possible na mga job postings kung na, na pinopost ng kung sino-sino, minsan yung mga recruiter nila, or minsan clients din mismo, um, what I, 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 I recommend you to do actually is learn also from these posts. Um, ako personally, I am just a, uh, ano pa na yun, parang silent reader lang ako. I don't really post as much. Kung mag-post man ako, siguro very rare lang. Um, I would usually just talk upon these groups and just look at ano yung mga sinasabi na yung mga sharing kasi if there's one thing na maganda sa mga work from home or mga freelancers uh, na mga nagtatrabaho kung baga yung sharing laging nandoon um, people would always want to testify or be a testimony about what they are doing and share whatever they're doing sa ibang tao so ako noon marami ako mga natutunan from creating proposals to um, yun nga, getting some job, yung mga maliliitan lang na mga jobs, kung baga. Uh, tapos, may mga tips din, may mga free webinars na where, where you can learn from, okay? And speaking of learning, number five tip is uh, learn, unlearn, and relearn. Um, nung nag-start ako mag-work from home or freelancing, I started it out kasi medyo stressed ako dun sa previous job ko na parang I needed a diversion. So, the rate wasn't really as good. Pero, siguro for me, for the time being, it opened up my eyes. Kasi, kumbaga, kasi na-realize ko na, uy, hindi lang pala yung usual na mga trabaho. Kakaiba yung mga trabaho. Ang, yung una kong ang trabaho was actually uh, to send emails or contact anybody virtually to sign up to a certain um, platform. That new platform is parang a social media platform na bago. So, syempre, kailangan niya ng traffic na papasok, mga magsa-sign in, ganyan. So, yun yung tra trabaho ko every successful, ano, doon ka lang mababayaran. So, ko parang commission-based lang siya. I've also tried outbound sales rep, ganyan. So, parang ano lang siya, no, nung umpisa, parang gusto ko lang na at least pag-uwi ko ng bahay, medyo ma-load off yung utak ko from stress. And eventually, yun yung nag-pave ng way sa akin para mas matuto ng matuto. And at the same time, ma-identify ko yung ibang mga gusto ko talagang gawin. Okay? Um, now, I also learned na nung nagsimula ako mag-work from home, ang dami-dami, dami-dami ng tools na available. Kasi akala ko nun, syempre nung nasa corporate, nung usual na work lang ako, usually naman ang ginagamit lang natin, Microsoft Office, ba? 
Siguro yung mga iba may mga chance na gumagamit kayo ng Photoshop sa mga corporate jobs niyo pero yun nat yun lang yun. Hindi siya ganun kadami yung mga ginagamit natin. When in fact, if you go freelancing or work from home, you have to know a lot of apps, uh, you have to know a lot of software depending on the job that you will take. From, for example, nung nag-work from home po ako, nang simula ako mag-work from home, I started learning how to do Canva. Medyo, mahilig naman ako mag-art art ganyan. So, medyo nag-enjoy talaga ako sa Canva. So, most of the most of the images I post on my, one of my Facebook pages. Actually, dalawa kong Facebook pages. Um, lahat yon gawa lang sa Canva. So, maganda rin siya. Lalo na doon sa mga mag-graphics mag, design. Okay? Not only that, syempre, depende sa trabaho mo. Kunyari naman, accounting ang gusto mong i-pursue na trabaho. Meron kang QuickBooks, Xero, um, ano pa ba yung mga, marami pang mga software na accounting related, no? Tapos may mga project management um, tools din or apps na kailangan mong matutunan. From, kunyari, yung mga tipong, kahit yung mga ano eh, Zoom meeting, ganyan, kasi minsan lahat nga virtually, di ba? Um, all these features, all these apps, you need to somehow familiarize yourself. Kasi kailangan din maging techy ka. Kasi, eto yun eh. Nung dati, pag hindi mo masyadong alam, pwede ka naman magtanong doon sa katabi mong kaopisina, ba? Pero dito kasi, minsan, there will be times where um, when you're with the client, you don't have anybody else to ask. So, Google lang yung best friend mo. You'd have to look for it talaga. Um, you'd have to always look, 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 and look and research. Okay? Kasi, hindi po uso dito ang spoon feeding sa work from home. Kasi, kung halimbawa, yung client mo naman ang tatanungin mo, ba? Parang baka sabihin sa'yo ng client mo is, why did you even apply for the job? You don't even know what to do. Right? So, kung siya rin lang pala magtuturo sa'yo, eh, bakit ka pa niya kukuhain? Although, there are some clients who are willing to invest on training. Okay? So, um, you might also need to unlearn a few things, like kung ano yung mga okay-okay lang na ginagawa mo before sa mga ano, parang pwede na yan, ganyan, baka kailangan mo i-unlearn yun, or relearn things, kasi baka naman mamaya natuto ka nung, nung, nung college mo, natuto ka na ng konti ng web development dahil IT graduate ka, nag-iba yung trabaho mo sa corporate, tapos pagbalik mo dito, medyo nakalimutan mo na siya, so you might have to also learn or uh, relearn it, okay? Sa, nung nag-start po ako mag-freelancing and I started learning a few things, marami akong natutunan from graphics design nga, from Canva, tapos natuto din ako ng web development, social media management, kasi nung natuto ako, syempre, create ako ng Facebook page, how to post, um, yun, so meron din akong natutunan ko rin gumamit ng pages manager, uh, natuto akong mag gamit-gamit ng Instagram kasi I mean I know how to use Instagram but more for just any posting lang hindi what well, di ka masyadong mindful ano kung ano yung mga ilalagay mo even yung mga ano ha yung mga tipo ng Skype kailangan marunong kang mag-navigate kasi may mga ibang may mga ibang trabaho ng interview mo would be through Skype so if you don't know your client might be turned off sa'yo kasi hindi mo nga alam. Yan. Ano pa, meron pang Crelo, um, meron pang, basta marami pa pong ibang mga apps na baka kailangan yung matutunan. Especially, of course, kung ang trabaho mo, like ako naman, since training yung traba, naging, nagiging trabaho ko, I had to invest on Microsoft Office talaga. You have to have a legit copy of Microsoft Office. So, kung depende sa trabaho na papasokin ninyo, you have to somehow invest, not just in terms of the money or the subscription, but also the, um, ano to, knowledge. Kasi, mahirap yung mga nga pa kung kailan na hire ka na ng kliyente. Okay? Ano pa? Eto na lang. Siguro kung ano nga, sabi nga, kung hindi mo alam, research. Sabi nga, GMT. Kung di mo alam, ibig sabihin nun, i-research mo. Okay? Hindi po uso ang Sabi ko nga, spoon feeding. Number six, okay? Number six tip is, know what are the available jobs. So, after you sign up with different freelancing sites, ang ginagawa ko noon, I would, I would usually look upon kung ano-ano mga keywords, okay? Kasi para magkaroon ka na idea, ano ba yung usual na mga trabaho na available? Para at least, pag ginawa mo rin yung profile mo and sakto naman dun yung mga kaya mong gawin or mga ginagawa mo before or experience mo, 
then you can create a profile that would somehow attract clients na doon talaga sa skill set na binibigay mo. So, kaso kung hindi mo alam kung ano yung mga usual na trabaho na available, mahirapan ka. Ano ba yung mga usual na available na mga trabaho? Ang pinaka-common so far, as far as I know, okay, is virtual assistant. When you say virtual assistant, para siyang executive assistant. So, anything, practically anything under the sun that the client needs from you, you have to do it virtually from email, project management to um, maybe social media management, anything that your client needs. So, that's a virtual assistant, okay? Meron din, syempre, mga galing ng call center, yung iba din gumagawa ng mga parang local, maliliitan lang ng mga, ng mga call centers, no? So, it can be, uh, or pwede rin naman yung customer service representative. And, I mean, your customer service representative it can be voiced or non-voiced. Okay, so pwede yung mga chat, ganyan. O kaya mga email support, okay? Ano pa? Ngayon, very uso ito, social media managers. Uh, ito yung mga nagme-maintain ng different social media platform ng uh, certain clients. So, that's from Instagram, possibly Twitter to uh, Facebook pages and even Facebook profiles depending on what the client needs. Okay? Na yung scope non might be might include also graphics design kung baga kung ano yung mga pinopost mo, ikaw din ang gagawa o kaya pwede ding may writing na kailangan doon, okay? So, meron namang iba na yung lalo yung mga, mga very artistic, they are graphic designers or possibly possibly din yung mga artistic kasi to yung mga video editors, so mga meron din ganyang mga trabaho na work from home. Another thing, very ano din to, lalo na sa mga iba na medyo mahilig siguro sa math would be an accounting job. So, ma-share ko lang, yung tita ko, who's already a senior citizen, is actually working from home. Uh, most of her clients are Australian, and although CPA naman talaga kasi siya, accounting or bookkeeping yung mga nagiging work niya. And um, kung ako up work siya, ang ginagamit niya mostly, or mga nakukuha niyang kliyente would be from online jobs, PH. So, kanya-kanya lang siguro tayo ng gusto na platform. Medyo, ayoko na kasi rin mag-explore ng too much kasi parang baka kaka-explore ng ka-explore eh, ang gulo-gulo na nga ng utak ko, guguluhin ko palalo yung mundo ko, di ba? Next, um, pwede din yung iba mga web developer, yung mga gumagawa ng mga websites, e-commerce sites, and speaking of e-commerce, pwede din e-commerce like Amazon support, VA, pwede din namang mga uh, magsiset up ka ng mga Yung mga e-commerce dun within within certain websites, pwede din yon okay? Or pwede din yung mga, yung iba, meron din naman kumukuha. Siguro yung mga malalaki kasi talaga na mga Shopee or Lazada accounts, they need a, a, a someone to to post images or their products there and of course, you know, advertise it. Speaking of advertising, kasama din yan minsan sa social media marketing. Although minsan, meron talaga mga Facebook ads marketer. So even digital or virtual marketer, marami din yung mga ganyang postings. Meron din mga writing jobs. Ito, personally, nasubukan ko siya. I, um, I was a ghost writer for uh, someone. Okay, so, uh, isa yun sa mga early, ano ko actually, early work from home na ginagawa ko. And it's not really work from home, it's work from anywhere. Basta may internet na ako kasi isasubmit ko lang naman yung tapos ko na na gawa. Okay. Um, tapos yung sa akin kasi most of my ano, pwede rin online English teaching. Yan, nasubukan ko rin siya. Mostly with Chinese um, kids and may mga adults din siya ka mga, mga preteens. Natry ko din sa, Jap- sa Japanese. Um, so, depende na lang sa inyo kung ano yung preferred ninyo. So, some of them, some some are actually into that. Kasi medyo, I would say, relatively madali lang yun dahil second, somehow second, ano na natin eh, second language na natin ng English, ba So, it shouldn't be that much of an adjustment for you, I guess. Lalo na kung mga bata. Kaya lang dapat pagka, ano, mga bata yung, yung studyante mo talagang very animated ka when you teach them. Okay? So, yon Number seven. Number seven is if you know already the job, somehow natuto ka na ng konti ng mga skills, you need to identify the skills and talent that you have that can apply in the virtual world. Hindi kasi lahat ng mga ginagawa mo before sa corporate pwedeng applicable sa work from home or, home or freelancing. Okay, so ano ba mga example nun? Kunyari, syempre kung nagtatrabaho ka before sa factory, manufacturing, yung mga skills na natutunan mo dun might not really be applicable virtually. 
Okay? So, i-inventary mo lahat ng mga kaya mong gawin. Even some of the, the, those na hindi mo naman talaga na-explore. Kasi minsan may mga kliyente na hindi naman talaga nila. Like ako noon, nung umpisa, hindi ina-acknowledge na dati na akong training manager na marunong na ako sa PowerPoint. Kung baga nahingi pa sa akin ng prueba yung isa kong naging kliyente na kaya ko talagang gumawa ng mga PowerPoint text. Pero ang maganda lang doon, nung inayos ko naman kasi yung trabaho ko sa kanya, even yung asawa niya, kinuha niya ulit ako nung sumunod para sa another project with 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 him naman yung asawa niya. Okay? So, importante you know the skills and talents that you can offer. Now, let's say that tingin mo limitado yung mga skills and talent na meron ka, then papasok yung tip number five. Diba? Learn, unlearn, and relearn. Kasi importante, you invest on the skills that you have um, na gusto mo, so dun, para dun sa trabaho na gusto mong pasukan. Okay? Kasabi ko nga, may mga kliyente na willing magturo. But not all of them will be willing to do that. Some of them, of course, expect that you already know uh, what to do for the job that you are applying for. Okay? Uh, alam ko may mga iba na medyo malakas talaga yung loob. Kaya nilang mag, ano to, kaya nilang mag-apply sa trabaho kahit nila alam yung trabaho. Pero ako personally, I don't like that kasi medyo parang mahirap yun. Okay? Next, number eight, you have to have the right tools and resources, okay? Siyempre, dahil virtual to, kailangan, usually, a pinaka kailangan would be a computer. It can be a desktop or a laptop, okay? And, uh, may mga iba, very rare to, pero baka posible ka pa rin naman makakuha na cellphone lang, eh, pwede na. Siguro kung mga tipong social media manager na hindi naman ganun na seryoso na yung talagang intricate kung bagay yung pangangailangan, baka pwede naman yung cellphone lang. Pero, I would still suggest that you invest on a reliable computer. Now, aside from the computer, dahil virtual to, and the only way you can connect with clients, and, and the only way also that you can search upon different jobs, is kapag may internet or data ka, then that means kailangan may internet connection ka. Now, depende sa trabaho na, tata- na papasukin mo, some clients or some companies would require you to have a certain minimum uh, Mbps. May mga iba naman na basta lang kaya kang i-contact like that meron ako naging client na ganyan pinagawa magpagawa siya sa akin ng training deck. Hindi naman niya ako binabantayan oras-oras. Bahala kasi kasi ano lang yun eh fixed project. So gawin mo to babayaran kita. So it's a freelancing gig lang na binigay niya sa akin. And sa akin noon, kumbaga, parang basta pag may nagtanong lang siya, I have to make sure lang na kaya ko siyang masagot the soonest possible time. Hindi naman siya kailangang ura-urada kasi magkaiba kami ng time zone, naiintindihan naman niya yun. Ang mahalaga, you get in to- contact with, you get in touch with your client uh, regularly. Okay? So, ano pa, minsan may mga iba din na mga ano, like kanibawa sa online English teaching, yung iba dyan, kailangan din, syempre, lalo na kung mga voiced accounts, kailangan meron kang noise cancelling headphones, okay, na maayos yung microphone, maayos din yung, syempre, yung, yung mismong pinakapang, uh, ano to, yung sa ears, okay, yung, kung ano mo yung naka, narinig mo, okay? hindi usually kasi mag-work yung speaker lang, okay. Part of the tools and resources, sometimes, may, nung, nung nagtuturo ako, online English teaching, meron akong tarpaulin na pinaprint, tapos may mga konting mga little toys or whatever mga parang mga pangbata na something na magagamit ko during uh, teaching. Um, tools and resources din siguro matatawag yung mga software. Like ako in my case, I use mostly Microsoft of especially PowerPoint. Le- recently, I, I have been working on animation. So meron akong doodly, tapos mga video editor, ganyan. Kung ano man yung mga kailangan mo, Okay. Um, ano pa, in terms of tools, meron din ibang trabaho na, kunyari, speaking again of online English teaching, nire- somehow nire-require or nire-recommend siguro, that's the better term, nire-recommend na dapat meron kayong generator set. Kasi um, sa online English teaching, usually, you have bookings. So, fixed na siya yung oras. So, na- minsan nangyayari yun, nang- nang- nagkaroon ako ng problema noon before, kasi naging erratic yung yung ano yung internet connection sa probinsya namin 
And unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it in, in my schedule. Kahit, although nakapag-advise naman ako in advance. Pero, yun na nga, minsan it's not a, a good thing kung wala kang mga backup, whatever. Backup internet connection, backup source of power. Kasi, um, hindi lahat ng pagkakataon tatanggapin na dahil brown out sa inyo o naputulan kayo ng kuryente. You have to find a way. So, um, another tool or resource siguro, or resource siguro to matatawag, if you can identify a co-working space, kumbaga emergency place kung saan ka magtatrabaho just in case mag-brown out, uh, ano ba, mag-brown out o magkaroon ng problema ng internet connection sa bahay ninyo, where would you go para at least makakapagtrabaho ko pa rin? Lalo na kung ang trabaho mo ay uh, ano, early per ora, okay? Na, tapos may login time ka pa kasi syempre, uh, yung isa kong trabaho before, hindi naman kami, per hour kami, pero hindi kami strict sa oras, flexi yung time. Pero kasi yon bukod sa tinatrack yung per hour mo, tinatrack din yung screen mo, tinatrack din yung camera mo. So, hindi po, talaga hindi uubra kung, kung wala kang internet connection. Kahit magtrabaho ka, sayang naman yung trabaho mo din kung hindi ka naman din natatrack kasi yung babayaran lang sa'yo kung ano yung natrack din sa'yo. Okay? Next, uh, marami pang tools na ano, pero I think that's the most basic ones that you need to have. Um, may mga iba na lang sigurong mga specific jobs na mas, uh, mas tawag dito, mas mga nga ilang ka pa ng dagdag pa. Like, siguro if you're a video editor, maybe you might need a camera, pero ang dami naman kasing resources ng free videos out there. You just need to know where you can get them, Okay. Next would be, and this one I actually had a hard time with. It took some time before for, for me to find it out. Um, number nine is identify your niche. Okay, niche is basically parang kung saan ka nag, kung saan ka, nasaan yung puso mo. Anong klaseng trabaho ba talaga ang gusto mo? When I started out, tungo pista sabi ko nga sa inyo, it's really just more of a stress reliever for me. So hindi ako ganon ka particular about niche and, and stuff. So, ang dami kong sinubukan. Kung magkakong ano yung available, ano yung pwede na dyan. Kasi may nag-start din ako mag-business nung time na yun. Tapos nag-start din ako mag-aral ulit. So, parang I was all over the place. So, parang kung ano yung maunang job opportunity, sige lang, go lang ako dyan. But, yun nga, um, ay, sabi ko nga sa inyo sa tip number one, it's God's will, ba so, so, who would have known that once nung nakakuha ako ng full-time na work from home. And it was just a research job, so gustong gusto ko talaga siya. Biglang may mag-offer sa akin ng training job, no, na corporate siya. So, I prayed for it very, very, ano, talaga kay Lord. Pero, yun eh, yun binigay niya sa akin, no. So, I had to heed the call. Doon ako pumunta sa trabaho ko na, ano, na corporate. Which is still my, cup, my work ngayon na corporate, pero work from home, Okay. Um, so, na-realize ko along the way and after this quarantine na talaga ang niche ko is training. So, moving forward, hindi na ako, ma- basta kung, kung ano-ano lang yung ina-applyan ko. Medyo nag-struggle ako doon kasi hindi ganun ka-common yung gusto kong niche which is training nga. Um, hindi naman lahat ng, ng, hindi ganun kadaming companies and clients yung nanghihingi ng mga training decks. Uh, or nagpapagawa ng tra- actual training, papafacilitate ng training for their employees and stuff. Pero, what I learned over uh, during the quarantine is that it is possible. Kasi nung nakakita ko ng training post, inapplyan ko, natanggap naman ako. And, and after posting, I got accepted. Another friend of mine, um, kababata ko, ka- contacted me. Kasi hindi naman niya alam pala na nasa training ako. And some of their hiring also freelancers as needed. Uh, na trainer. Uh, someone who can, trainer na makakapag-facilitate and also create training decks, which is just perfect for me. So, sabi ko nga, siguro, if you are able to identify which niche kasi, mas ma, mas mafocus mo din yung energy mo, and uh, in terms of learning what the skills kung baga na kailangan mo, mas makakapag-focus ka din. At the same time, you won't be like me na all over the place. So, medyo mahirap din kasi yung all over the place. Although ako nun nga, sabi ko nga, siguro hindi pa right timing for me nung time na nag-start ako. Pero, sa, ang maganda lang is that during that time na nag-start ako, two years ago, marami naman akong natutunan. And I was able to also apply them in my current corporate job. In fact, ngayon nga eh, na-apply ko yung animation sa current job ko. So, it 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 helps uh, me even more, no? So, marami akong natutunan 
Yun yung, yun yung maganda, okay? And last but definitely not the least, least okay, uh, number 10, pray. Okay, yan yung tip ko sa inyo, uh, number 10 would be pray. Kasi, just like I said about God's will, um, only God will know what's in, in our hearts. And sa bagay, siya rin naman nagbibigay ng desire sa heart natin, ano. Pero, kung talagang desire ng puso mo na to work from home, hingin mo kay Lord, in siya naman ang gagawa ng paraan to make it happen, right? Oh, speaking of learning and uh, relearning pala and unlearning, no? Um, yung communication skills natin, most of the clients you might be getting are foreigner, uh, mostly US, Australian. So you might really make sure that you have or you're able to communicate very well with your clients, be it written or verbal. Um, yung iba naman hindi ganun ka-critical, basta as long as naiintindihan na, or nagkakaintindihan kayo, they're okay with that. So, um, yun lang. So, basic, ano lang yun, basic minimum lang siguro yun for now, okay? So, with that, um, I hope na somehow may mga natutunan na na-pick up kayo. If you have any other questions about how to start working from home or doing freelancing, um, just comment down below some of your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, Tingnan natin kung makakapagbigay pa ako ng part 2. Uh, maybe in the future, we can create more, you know, how to. How to uh, use certain software. So, ano bang software ang kailangan mo matutunan? Baka naman alam ko. ba So, but marami kayong matutunan and mag enjoy kayo for sure um, when you start working from home and freelancing. Um, kung afford nyo, katulad lang sa akin minsan, may mga ginagawa ako just for the sake of matuto ako pero hindi ko naman siya ginagamit talaga for uh, applying for jobs uh, but pwede na siguro in the future like social media management kumagawa ako nito for my own but I, um, anong tawag dito hindi siya necessarily requirement ng, ng kung sino man yun. so gusto ko lang talagang matuto ng matuto and um, malaki naman yung nagagawa niya sa akin. So, okay na yon, Okay? So, anyway, I hope you learned something from me today. And, um, have a great day. And as I've always said, put God first. Uh, siya lang naman talaga yun will, will make it happen for you. So, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye! At the end of the day, sabi ko nga, it's all about His glory, God and God alone. With that, Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. Please do watch my videos and give me comments. Like it if you like those videos as well. Bye!